America's iconic Route 66 is about to become part of a new solar system. Startup company Solar Roadways is working with the Missouri Department of Transportation to install a stretch of solar road that could generate enough energy to power a rest stop. Route 66, America's historic mother road. It's one of the country's original highways paved from Chicago to the coast in California. This stretch through Missouri near Conway is about to make history right here at this Route 66 Welcome Center with the installation of these. Solar panels that we can drive on. These solar panels create energy. Solar pavement that powers the Welcome Center. That's MoDOT's plan for the future. Missouri Department of Transportation's Tom Blair is in charge of the project. The Route 66 Welcome Center is right along Interstate 44. In this particular location, Route 66 was absorbed by I-44. Solar roadways is what the name says. MoDOT wants it for the creation of energy because creation of energy can lower our cost, our energy costs like to light up the Welcome Center. And Blair says it has the potential to do so much more for Missouri. The idea came about through MoDOT's Road to Tomorrow initiative for Interstate 70. Road to Tomorrow is our, our effort to seek new innovations that create new revenue streams for Missouri transportation. Because we have a massive need on Interstate 70 across our state, the oldest interstate in the country, and it's only predominantly two lanes in each direction. It's the same road that was built in the 50s and 60s. And it needs to be rebuilt just due to its condition. And we could all imagine that, do we just really want to just rebuild existing I-70 like it looks today and make it all new, or do we want to make it actually a new 21st century interstate and what does that entail? Not long after Road to Tomorrow was announced, the Idaho-based company Solar Roadways was at MoDOT's doorstep. Scott and Julie Brusa are the co-founders and creators of the solar panels. Blair said their startup, Solar Roadways, has all the right stuff, so MoDOT is not hesitating. If our roads are creating green energy from the sun, as opposed to providing energy via burning coal or nuclear power. So we're creating not only a, a power source that is decentralized as opposed to centralized, we're creating one that is renewable energy. Our panels are made in layers. We have a top and bottom glass layer. It's tempered glass, it's half inch thick, and we laminate our electronics in between. If you look up bulletproof glass or bomb resistant glass, it's made with layered tempered glass. So basically, we've got a bulletproof or bomb resistant road. Broussaw says the durable panels absorb photons emitted from the sun to generate electricity. And he says they melt ice and snow, eliminating the need for salt and snow plows. Many reasons entice MoDOT. Likewise, Bruce Aw says he saw an opportunity helping MoDOT become the first state DOT in the country to install solar roadways. They've got 200 miles of I-70 they'd like to put advanced cutting edge technology on. If they were to do that 200 miles with our panels, we haven't calculated how much energy that would produce yet, but it'd be enormous. We could probably take every business and home along that highway completely off grid. We could actually create enough energy that we could actually possibly make a revenue stream by selling it back. An improved interstate that Blair says could pay for itself. That's why solar roadways is one of the options MoDOT is considering for I-70. There are still unknowns, which involve research and discovery. So the startup company and MoDOT have to start small with a pilot location here. So then why Route 66? Why not on I-70? Well, the, the Welcome Center is our most heavily populated Welcome Center in the state of Missouri. Everybody that travels across Missouri to look at the Mother Road, Route 66, pretty much stops at this Welcome Center. Within that Welcome Center, we have lots of exhibits that are really outside and inside that really are, are attractions if you're traveling across the country looking at Route 66. And within that Welcome Center, we have Missouri Department of Tourism, and they have very intelligent people in there that can tell you all about Route 66. So it's just, it's just a destination. Along I-70, I have nothing like that. Route 66 enthusiasts get a history lesson here explaining the highway's decommissioning. 
From Oklahoma City to St. Louis, Interstate 44 replaced the famous US 66, although much of that route survives. Not far from the Welcome Center, historic Route 66 runs parallel to I-44. Visitors will soon get their kicks on the newest feature of Route 66. The plan is to start small with installation on the sidewalks. Preparing for Missouri's installation in Idaho, the Broussaws tell HEC-TV, quote, We think it's smarter to walk before we run, and starting with small pilots allows us to do that. The sidewalk installation at MoDOT's Welcome Center will give them plenty of panels to monitor for efficiency, durability, and functionality. It's going to be small. It would offset the electrical cost at the building. It won't power up the whole building yet. They don't want me striping the future solar roadway because a stripe would cause the panel not to be able to see the sun. It would create a shadow. So they said, we'll just throw in some LED lights. So they have small LED lights in there. They're proposing that that would actually replace my striping. So we could have a lit up roadway stripe that you could be seen during the day or possibly even seen better during the night than what we have today. We're looking at how the LED lights work. Even though it's on a sidewalk, we're gonna have a lot of fun playing around with LED lights, seeing how bright they are in the sun and stuff like that. We, we wanna do that. But eventually, the Broussaws say, if they complete the Welcome Center, it will be wise to install every area so the entire Welcome Center no longer needs plowing. And for continuity, trees will lower efficiency during part of the day, but they will still collect power. In every location, some panels will produce more than others. The Broussaw say they have always planned for the roads to be their very last application. They say if MoDOT is happy with the sidewalks, installation of panels will expand into the parking areas, driving areas, and quote, by that time, we should have all final U.S. Department of Transportation research completed and will be ready for Route 66. If successful, this could be the first road that ever pays for itself. As far as initial costs, both MoDOT and Solar Roadway say that's also work in progress. Federal Highway has research dollars they're allowing us to use. Federal Highway Administration has already provided solar roadways with three separate research grants to deploy and develop their technology or their innovation. So they've already done that, and they, Federal Highway, as well as Solar Roadways, are ready to deploy. And we are the DOT that are working with Federal Highway and Solar Roadways with some Federal Highway research dollars to begin that first public deployment of their technology by a state DOT. And according to the Broussaws, we won't have meaningful cost information to give until we gear up for mass manufacturing. Right now, we are dealing with onesie quantities. Costs are expected to drop dramatically when we reach mass manufacturing. Trying to be proactive and innovative, Blair has a plan to cover Missouri's expense. As we actually get the first panels in place, we will launch a crowdfunding campaign. Again, the first state DOT in the country to do something, we're going to launch a crowdfunding campaign. Um, we believe that there's a lot of fans of their products, so roadways, that want to see it deployed. We have seen facts that there's a lot of people that really want to see Route 66 further, um, I guess, remembered. And there's a lot of people out there that think this futuristic road is a way to remember Route 66. So we think those crowds can merge. We can give them opportunity as we deploy this initial deployment to actually invest a few of their dollars to make the deployment even bigger throughout this rest area and see more results. Which means solar roadways kicks into high gear this year, in Blair's words, before the snow flies. Get them through that first harsh Missouri winter and really give them a good durability test. And isn't it great that we can take the Route 66, the mother road, and merge it with a vision of the future solar roadways?